Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Magnus Carlsen and Hikaru Nakamura. This is a rapid game from Magnus Carlsen Chess Dua Finals 2020. Carlsen had white pieces and he started with e4. Hikaru Nakamura played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4, bishop to c5. So we have the Italian game. White to move. Carlsen castled kingside c3 and b4 are considered to be the most ambitious way for white to play. We have a castling, knight to f6, d3, d6, c3, the modern Giuco Piano, h6 preventing bishop to g5, rook to e1, inviting knight to g4, Nakamura castled kingside, let's take it back, if knight to g4, then probably rook to e2, and if bishop to g4, then one line goes like this, knight from b to d2, castling h3, bishop to h5, knight to f1, intending knight to g3. Back to our game, Nakamura castled kingside, knight from b to d2, a5, knight to f1, bishop to e6, offering to trade light squared bishops, Bishop to b5, knight to e7, intending c6 probably. d4, e takes on d4, c takes on d4. Bishop to b6, knight to g3, d5, e5, attacking the knight and gaining the space on the board, forcing the black king, best defender, to go somewhere else. Knight to e4, bishop to d3, Knight takes on g3, h takes on g3, black to move. a4 was played. Somewhat unusual move, let's take it back. Perhaps bishop to g4 and rook to e8 were expected. a4 was played. Bishop to c2, attacking the pawn on a4. Black to move. a3. I guess Queen to d7 was expected. Back to our game. a3. A pawn sacrifice. And the purpose of this pawn sacrifice was not very clear. b takes on a3. Bishop to g4, pinning the knight a4, creating a spot for the bishop. Queen to d7, bishop to a3, pinning the knight. Rook from f to e8 and pinning. Bishop takes on e7. Queen takes on e7, queen to d3, g6, knight to h4, threatening to sacrifice the knight in some variations. It is black to move, queen to b4 was played, let's take it back. Perhaps bishop to a5 would be less risky. Queen to b4 was played, not afraid of knight takes on g6, making a threat, and the threat is queen takes on d4. A decision time. Should white defend the pawn on d4? Oh, sacrifice the knight on g6 and go for the attack on the black king. Well, defending the pawn on d4 is quite difficult. Carlsen played knight takes on g6. Queen takes on d4. Let's take it back. If f takes on g6, then queen takes on g6. Check. King to f8, queen takes on g4. And white is winning. Back to our game. So in this position we have queen takes on d4, offering to trade queens. White to move. How would you continue? The move that Carlsen played in this position is probably something that Nakamura missed in his calculations, and that is knight to e7 check. King to f8. Let's take it back. If rook takes on e7, then queen to h7 check, and after king to f8, queen to h8 check mate. Back to our game. King to f8, and now knight takes on d5. Black to move. Queen takes on f2 was played. Queen takes, queen would lose more slowly. Then bishop takes on d3, 
and white is standing better back to our game. Queen takes on f2 was played, check. But this move is also helping white, because white will place the rook on a file. King to h2, rook from a to d8, rook to f1. It is black to move and black has a difficult position. Rook takes on e5 was played. If bishop to f5, one line goes like this. Queen to a3 check, queen to c5. And then queen to c1. If rook takes on d5, queen takes on h6 check, king to e7. Queen to f6 check, king to d7. Bishop takes on f5 check, rook to e6. Queen takes on f7 and white wins. And let's go back to our game. After rook to f1, we have rook takes on e5, rook takes queen, rook takes knight, attacking the white queen. What is the best square for the queen? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Carlsen played rook takes pawn on f7, check, amazing. Let's take it back. If queen to h7, what happens then? Then bishop takes on f2. And black is threatening a check mate. Back to our game. Rook takes on f7 check. King to e8. Let's take it back. Let me show you this line. If king takes on f7, then rook to f1 check. King to e7. Queen to h7 check. King to d6. Queen takes on h6 check. King to c5. Bishop to g6. Controlling h5 square. The best move for black is rook to h5 check. Then bishop takes rook. Rook takes bishop check. Queen takes rook. Bishop takes queen. Rook to f5 check. Winning the bishop back to our game. So we have king to e8. Queen takes rook on d5. Rook takes on d5. Bishop to g6. Got to play this move to prevent rook to h5 checkmate. King to d8. Rook to e1. c6. Rook takes on b7. Threatening checkmate. Bishop to c7. Rook to e8 check. King to d7. White played a move and black resigned and the move is rook to h8. Nakamura resigned. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. King to d6. Rook takes on h6. Rook to g5 defending the bishop. Bishop to f5 discover check. King to d5. Bishop takes bishop on g4. Rook takes on g4. Rook takes on c7. Rook takes on a4. Rook from h takes on c6. Rook takes on a2. And now g4. If rook to a8, then g5 after rook to g8, g6, and so on. Should I add more arrows? I guess we can stop here. What a game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.